To my channel i am blue lotus fast by janita mclean and if you are new thank you for coming i appreciate you and i hope that you will like the content and you will like subscribe and turn on your notifications because aggressive in august is in effect so i will be posting content every day never know what it's going to be you don't want to miss out but today we are spiraling. We're doing spiral betting. So I want you to sit back and relax. And I'm going to show you. So if you would like to make a shirt like this. And if you would like to know how I made it. Come along on my journey. As we spiral together. Okay now we're all set up at the computer. And you might be asking yourself. Miss Nita how are we going to spiral htv vinyl and put it on a shirt so i'm going to show you we're going to start in a computer first i'm going to find a design of my choice i'm going to scroll down and i have it right here i'm going to hit that look at it okay now i'm going to go into the word well not the word but my cricket I'm going to come up out of here because I already have put that together. I'm going to go back to my canvas. And we're not going to work on that particular one. I am going to upload. So what you're going to basically do is look for a photo that you would like to use. Like this one right here, I had already spiraled this one. If you can see, this one right here also is already spiraled. But before we get to that, we must go to this. So you're going to type in the word spiral. Betty. You're going to hit enter. And it's going to bring up the actual website. Now what we're going to do is go to this very first one that says... Create spiral art from your images online. We're going to hit Spiral Betty. Now, when you get right here, it's going to ask you to upload an image. You're going to hit Upload Image. Go to your preferred area that you would like to get your photo from. Mine's, I'm going to go down a little further. Well, better yet, let me just type in my preferred one that I want to use. And I'm going to go down here because I know it's down here because I just showed y'all where it was. I'm going to go right here to see if it will bring up what I am looking for and I will not have to go all over to find it. I'm going to go in there and I already know that I have several versions of this that's made out in different areas or laid out in different ways. I'm gonna hit tree inside the circle and it's gonna be zero, three. Now, I got this design from Creative Fabrica and what you're gonna do is basically see how this circle is? 
If I move it up, which is not going to let me move it up at this time because it is perfectly made. But this little directional, if your image was too big for this circle, the directional allows you to be able to move everything completely in the middle of the circle. So once you have finished, you can go up with it. You can go down with it. But if you are okay with how you see it on the screen, you will go to the check mark. Once you go to the check mark, it instantly, automatically will take you to a color figure one. Now going over here to the side, and I'm gonna move you over here. You will see that you have different kind of layouts. You have that color, which you see on the screen or you can put it back to black and white. Now, being that I'm not gonna do the sublimation one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the black and white. And in doing the black and white, it will allow me to take my vinyl and create this, which you already see on the camera. Now, if I wanted to make these rings bigger or smaller, you would hit the word ring. And let me make sure y'all can see. You will hit the word ring and you will go up or down and it depends on how many you would like to take a part now being that i want to stay where i completely was i'm going to do like that now if you want to even scale it you might want to scale it different going up or going down but i prefer to keep it like i already had it which is going to be right there now there's also a lightness. If you wanted to lighten, you would go that way. If you want to darken it even more, you would go this way. There's also a contrast button, and the contrast button will allow you also to scale it up or to scale it down. Now, being that I want it right back where I had it at, I'm gonna stay right there. Now, like I said, if you wanted to do sublimation of it or you wanted to do like the vinyl that is permanent and put it on different items, then you would use one of these colored ones over here. Being that I want to stay where I am, I'm going to simply go over here to my top where it has the down arrow and I'm going to hit down low. Now, it says always free to use Spiral Betty for personal non-commercial uses. And you can hit download. But you have to decide which one you would like. Would you like your JPG? Would you like a PNG? Or would you like a SVG? I want a SVG and I want a clear background. Once you have decided to do those things, you hit download. Now, as you can see, there is something that you can do before you go to actually download, which will be right here, and it lets you know that it's in a folder, and it's already ready for me as a SVG. In the middle of the page, it says download started. Can't find your download? See downloading tips. Keep Spiral Betty alive with your support. So you can buy betty a cup of coffee now for commercial licensing i'm going to go over here and i'm going to let you see what your steps and procedures for getting a license now suppose you would like to use this to make a couple of shirts for people you can it says as crafters for one year which is their most popular, which is number one, for $25, you may be able to use those, it says, for a year. A one-time royalty usage uh, would be $3. Five royalties, which means that you can use it five times and sell it, would be 15 and as you can see, this will go on and on. Let me see, 10 times, and this one is 
enterprise which is a year and that says 150 so if you would like to license which means you would like for other people to be able to wear what you do using the spiral betty you may do so by purchasing a license now we're going to come out of here i'm going to go back to my other screen which was my cricket we are now ready to go over here to our side panel to upload our image that we just finished spiraling and spiral betting. I'm going to hit upload. I'm going to go here to upload. I'm going to go here to browse files. I'm going to go up here to the very first one, which was the last thing that I made. So it would be up here that I would click on. I would click on that. I would hold open. It's going to give you a message at the top because it is a SVG that contains the following items that are not supported, which is clipping paths. I'm going to hit continue anyway. And then I would take and I would hit upload for that image. I already have it on my canvas down here. So I'm going to hit cancel on that. I'm going to go up here to my upload panel. And it is right here. It's this one right there. I'm going to hit add canvas. And then we are going to bring it in. Now, if you can see, and let me zoom in so that you can see it. It is a 13.329 by 13.225. That is too large. I do not want it completely across my chest or my shirt. So I'm going to take that size down. We're going to go to a 10 in width. Hit enter to a 10 in height. Hit enter. That makes your image completely smaller. As you can see, 10 by 10. We're going to go over here to this other side panel. And we're going to hit the word make it. Once we hit make it, it's going to think. You're going to see your image come in. I'm going to demagnify this so that you can see it good. Okay, now. Being that it is this size, I'm not going to use my 12 by 24 mat. As you can see over there in that corner, it says 12 by 24, which I normally use. I'm going to take my size down to 12 by 12. Let me bring this down so it can come down. And being a little iffy right now. Uh, there we go. Wait a minute. I did it again. I don't know why I'd always do that, but... There we go. No, come on. There we go. 12 by 12. All right, now, I'm going to hit the word mirror. And the reason why I'm going to hit the word mirror, for the simple fact, we need to mirror this because I'm using HTV. Now, if you can remember, HTV has a shiny side and a dull side. The shiny side is your carrier sheet. The dull side is the actual glue that's going to adhere it to your garment. So I'm going to need to put it on down on the mat on this side. So we're going to prepare our mat and then we're going to get ready to cut. Now, now what we need to do is prepare our mat so that we can put it in. I'll crick it. And the thing about me and my mat is this sounds sticky. But a lot of times when it goes to cut, it does not perform like it needs to. So I'm going to measure off and make sure that I have the right size. And we are doing 10 by 10. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to burnish it with my hands real good. 
But as you can see, even though I have done that, these ends are still going to be up some. And being that I had these this uh, vinyl off a big roll, I have to always make sure I go in and cut down so that my ends will not get stuck in the Cricut. So what I do is I take some tape. I'm going to put this on a heat pipe for a minute. I'm going to roll it down. And I'm just going to tape down my sides to make sure that they do not come up while everything is cut. I'm going to go in here. Simply put it right here on the end. Make sure you can see. Put it on the end. Make sure the camera right there where you need it to be. There we go. Right on the end. Get another piece. Right on the end. I'm going to turn that around. Make sure that's good. Put another piece right here. I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to go right here. Just want to get my ends, my corners, to make sure I get another piece. To make sure that everything will stay down as I'm cutting. There's nothing like getting your vinyl caught up in that machine. And that might be your last piece of vinyl. Don't nobody got no money to be thrown away like that. So we're going to go ahead and tape down. And all four corners are taped down. Now I'm going to take you to the Cricut. We have our vinyl already set up to go. We're going to hit the word continue. I'm going to, as you can see, my Cricut down here. I'm going to hit my Cricut on. I'm going to hit this button right here that's going to open it. I'm going to get this set up like that inside of there. But this is on the wrong setting. It says poster board. See this dial right here? I'm going to simply take and turn it to custom so I can put it on anything I would like to put it on. My favorite all to go is everyday iron on. I'm going to press everyday iron on because I have it automatically set to cut two times so that light is flashing. We will hit this light. We will hit this C that is now flashing. And our Cricut will begin to cut. I will come back when it is finished cutting. Now, we have finally finished cutting our spiral Betty on the Cricut machine. I cut it for a two-pass cutting on my, uh, I can't even remember what it was, y'all. <laughs> my all-too favorite, which is the... Uh, HTV Easy Vinyl Cut. You can somewhat see these right here, the lines, but you really can't see it until I get started. So I'm going to put this down here, I'm trying to put it in a way that you can see as I unspiral it. And I'm trying to make sure you have enough light to be able to see. So we're going to put this light down here like this. I'm going to move some things over. I'm going to move some things around. I have stuff everywhere, y'all. Trying to get this little craft area set up. But life be life and stuff be going. Okay, now we're going to take everything off of our mat. I'll take the tape off. And sometimes it might be kind of easy if you take and flip it over. But since I put this tape on here, trying to get this tape off, now we can flip it over. Now, you might can see it a little bit better with the, uh, the circles going around. And then again, you might not can't see it. But you can see the rings around there. You will be able to see it a whole lot better once I start. Now, I'm not going to take the two off the top, and I'm going to tell you why. You want to still have some type of firm pressure on a table or a mat or something 
when you're trying to unspiral this because you don't want it to be all over the place as you're trying to unspiral it. So I'm going to take and tape this back down. I'm trying to move this light around so y'all can see as I unspiral it. I'm going to move this out the way because I don't need that. And I'm going to take and move it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take and move that light back up some as far as y'all being able to see. Okay, now. I think that'll be a good spot. Everybody should be able to see like that. But what I could do is move the camera in a little too more closer. And so that way you can... Uh-oh, we don't want to break it. Wait a minute. Y'all know how it go. You be recording and things just start happening. So, what we're going to do right here is I'm going to put this light right here where I can see. Because your girl get wear glasses. I got more than one set of eyes. So, I'm going to go around here and I'm basically looking for my starter. And I'm going to bring you in some so you can see where my starter. So, you get a pair of tweezers. Or you would get a pair of, um, or either you would get like maybe a picking tool, something that is going to work for you to get your starting board. Of course, like I said, I take mine down to the table. I'm going to get right here and get close in it. And I'm going to pick it up slightly. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to start spiraling you want to take your time you can go as fast as you like you can go as slow as you like but you want to make sure you have your continuation going let me make sure y'all in view you want to make sure you have your continuation going so as i'm doing this i'm just taking and taking my time and going around when I see the little pieces coming up, those little pieces right there are, um, is your picture that's starting to develop from where your cut lines are. So you just want to take your time, go around, and it'll start picking back up. And you're just going to keep going. You want to get the other pieces out the way. And even if your lines get a little too long, you can also take a pair of scissors. You got a pair of scissors handy. But you want to hold your line now. You don't want to lose that. And you can just simply take your scraps and get them out the way if they're in your way. I'm just trying to make sure y'all can see real good. And you just want to keep going around. Let me pull this up a little bit and move it around like that. Nope, on here. Nope. Just trying to get the angle straight, y'all, because I want y'all to be able to see. Now, right there. How about I pick it up and move it? I'm going to pick it up and move it slightly over here. So I want y'all to be able to really see this because I thought this was so pretty and so amazing when I first did it and I first started doing it. Okay, now. I hope y'all can see real good. Okay, now. I'm going to keep going around. Sometimes your lines might get a little thin, but you just take your time and go around. Make sure you get all your pieces that's developing into your picture. And you just keep going around. Take your time. Hold on to the other pieces. You might even want to hold your vinyl down. Whichever one works for you. And you just keep going around. Keep going around and around and around. Until you get all the way in the middle. And once you get in the middle, you will see how pretty your picture becomes. So I'm just going to be quiet and just concentrate and go around. Y'all can watch me as I do it.
Now we're on the inside. I'm going to cut down one more time. Make sure I hold my spot. So I'm going to cut up here. Take my abscess and move that out the way. And keep going. We almost finished. Wanna take your time. Pull, but don't pull too hard. And you just keep going around. Almost like going around the old vinyl uh, records before they had CDs, DVDs. They had the old vinyl. Well, this is exactly what this is. That's what Spiral Betty reminds me of. Okay, I'm going to cut this again. Remember, you want to cut it. Not too short, but you want to cut it enough so you can get your excess trash out the way. And you will have your guide still in your hand. And you're just going to keep going around. And as you go around... Your picture is forming and developing. And we're almost there, y'all. Almost there. Uh-oh, let me pick up my trash. Because I don't want it to make a mistake and get attached to my picture. I'm going to take and break this off again. And I can just pull this because it's thin. And I'm just going to go around. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost there, almost there. All right, we're going to take and pull it again. And we're going to keep going around. This is very therapeutic for those who like to do this type of thing. But when you get to the end, you will see the end result was all worth it. All worth it. I'm going to keep going on and around. And you get into the inside of that racket. Where you put it down on that needle. I mean, you put the needle down on there and you play it. Almost there, y'all. Almost on the inside. And voila, we are completely finished. Now I'm going to set up for us to press this on the heat press. And I'm going to show you the, uh, the finishing result. Okay, now, this is our picture. This is what we are left with. But you're not quite finished yet. You want to take this outer layer out of your way. Because you don't want to press this extra piece of vinyl on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tool... I'm going to go in here and I'm going to press and find a, like a, make a little hole. And I'm going to take off this extra vinyl that I do not need. I still have the two top pieces taped up. So once I take and pull this, this extra vinyl will be out of my way. And all I'm left with is just my spiral bed. I'm going to take and pull this off and I will show you the end in a few minutes, but I don't want to mess this up. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I don't pull too quick. Let me make sure. Take and cut that piece off. There we go. Now, I'm going to go in and pull the rest off. There we go. Keep going around. Making sure I don't get anything else stuck to it. I got my extra tape. That tape is coming off as well. And now we are left with nothing but our tree of life. Now I'm going to get my shirt set up. It is a Gildan um, cotton shirt. I'm going to pre-press it, and once I pre-press it, then we will be ready to put this on. I'm now at the heat press. I'm going to set my temperature for 325 for 25 seconds, 
I have already done that. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. But before we do that, once again, I said I have a gilded shirt. And if you have never seen any of my videos, I always show you how to refresh your garment. Because it might have came out of a box, a bag, or you might have had it sitting around. You want to find your seams, which is your arm pieces, your shoulder pieces, and also your sleeve. You want to take and do like this, put them together, and you're going to go ahead and put it on the heat press. Now, what I also like to do is to not only take some of the moisture out, but I also find my center. And by doing that, you're going to do three to four fingers from the top. And this is where my line is going to start. So not only am I taking the moisture out, but I'm also giving myself a little guy, a little cheat, a little cheat sheet for knowing exactly where I would like for my design to start. So we're going to go down for a few quick seconds, take the moisture out, also get our crease started so we know exactly where we want to start to put our design. And that's enough. See all that steam came out, if you were able to see it. And like I said, you have your line on here. And it's right there. It's straight down the middle. So I know exactly where I'm going to start. You want to make sure your neck goes off of the heat press. Because you don't want your neck to be all bulky looking and crazy looking. I'm going to put this extra light over here so y'all can see. You have the line right here. I'm going to take and straighten this out. Make sure I have it in between my armpits. And this is where my design will start. And I'm only taking dust. And I'm going to um, take my liner. But we're not going to do all that. Now, this is our design. Remember, this is our spiral betty we had. That looked like something got on here. I'm going to take and do that. And we're going to put this right straight in the middle. Making sure we line it up in the middle straight down the middle make sure it is even and we're going to put this down now you can put a teflon sheet on here or not it is really your preference i'm just going to put it on here this time we're going down for 25 seconds and i'll be back all right 25 seconds is up i'm going to take and take the teflon sheet off I normally take a rag or something to cool this off. And I'm going to go ahead and take and turn this off. Because, baby, that is hot, honey. Let me get a rag. And I'm just going to go over this design real quick. Because I'm trying to take some of this heat out before I pull this off. Because some vinyls are not too forgiving when it comes to you pulling it off and you mess it up so I did like that for a minute okay now we're gonna see what the end result came to okay okay cool I'm gonna take my time I don't want to stretch it out but I always like to go at a diagonal and pulling off my carrier sheet and we're going to pull it all just like that now as you can see nothing's left on your carrier sheet i'm going to take and throw that away because i do not need that anymore sometimes i know i'm going to take and repress it i've already turned the heat press off so what i'm going to do is just go down for a few seconds I'm going to show you the end result. Now, don't get me wrong. This design, I mean, the Spiral Betty has been out for quite some time. It's just I decided I wanted to bring it back. 
People have been doing this like three and four and five years back. But to me, I thought it was something nice, something neat, and something I hadn't seen in a while. So here is your end results. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. And this is the Tree of Life. I got this all Creative Fabrica. They also have some that you can do on sublimation. But as you can see, it's in there. It's nice and up here. And it came out real nice and real pretty. So I have this design. And I also have the one I have on Killing It Every, you know that word, day. And y'all know how I always end it. Y'all be safe in these streets until you see me again tomorrow because it's aggressive in August, all month long, content every day. Y'all be good.